What neighborhood was it in? I don't know. Where's the house? I don't know. Upstairs, downstairs, where was it? I don't know. But I had one beer. That's the only thing I remember. And a man's life is in tatters. A man's life is shattered. His wife is shattered. His daughters, who are beautiful, incredible, young kids, they destroy people. They want to destroy people. These are really evil people. The roar of the grease paint and the smell of the crowd. Welcome back to the Savage Nation. I mean, welcome to, to me, it's one gigantic serial that I've been doing all of these years. And uh, last night, Trump gave a speech in front of a crowd. And while he is right about what he said about Dr. Freud, the optics are awful. He went off the rails. Now, mind you, I'll repeat what I said. He's 100% right in what he said about Dr. Freud. He does everything right from the heart. And since this whole Ford Kavanaugh thing began, he's been very measured in his comments. He really didn't take sides, always defended Kavanaugh, and always giving credence to Dr. Freud. And he then even acquiesced to Democrats in waiting another week so the FBI could investigate these claims. Again, I want to repeat, Trump is right about what he just said last night, but the optics are awful. He went off the rails. You see, in front of an adoring crowd in Mississippi, he mocked Dr. Freud's testimony to the tremendous applause, we heard it, and what happened? Every newscast led with this. All of the twisted media outlets, all the twisted sisters in the news business, were having panel discussions on Trump's horrible treatment of a sexual abuse survivor. He gave them the fodder they were looking for. Stop Mass Hysteria is the one book you need in your house if you've never bought a book or haven't bought a book in years. You need this book on your coffee table to convince a skeptical relative that what we are living through is an historical nightmare, an historical nightmare that is based upon events in the past leading up to the present. The worst mass hysterias in this country from Columbus to today are outlined in this phenomenal book that I wrote and it will be, <clears throat> excuse me, it will be my last political book. At least I think so right now. But I ask you to buy this billboard. Buy this billboard. You won't regret it. Thank you for listening.